Blog Talk Radio. I'm your host, Davida Shinsky, and you're listening to Live Without Limits. Today's show is titled SEO, or Search Engine Optimization, is a team sport. The different roles that go into search engine optimization. And we all know the importance of search engine optimization is using keywords and phrases that people key into, whether it's Google, Yahoo, or Bing, in order to have your website or your blog articles come up first for people to see them. So, a lot of the entrepreneurs, marketing companies, and businesses mistake in search engine optimization as a one-time, one-click solution to their search engine problems. That cannot be further from the truth. Even if you did read through the latest edition of search engine optimization for dummies, it's a still not enough. Search engine optimization or SEO requires that you constantly improve, constantly adapt, and constantly optimize your content so that it performs better online. Unless you copyright, design, edit, script, do social media, and everything else that goes into online content creation and search engine optimization, then you're going to need a supporting cast around you. And that is why SEO is a team sport. You need to provide yourself with a fully equipped, highly skilled team that is going to help you achieve your goals. Now, this is something that if you're very familiar with search engine optimization that you can do yourself, but it really works better with a team because what one person knows isn't everything. And when you put everyone together and each person brings their knowledge and their specialties and their expertise, then and only then are you getting to a point where what you offer is very good. Once you've acknowledged and established that SEO is not a one-person game, then you can start working on putting together a team of professionals capable of supporting your search engine ambitions. And in this show, we'll help you do just that by listing out what skills or professionals you need to have in your team. Without further ado, Let's get started, shall we? The first one you need is copywriters. And the importance of copywriters for search engine optimization is that they are going to know the right words to use when it comes to performing well in search engines. It's not enough that your word and your copy in a way that a creator and promotional. You will also need to target the keywords that you want your product to match. Those keywords are the words that your customers, search engine users, will type in when searching for an answer. A great copywriter will not only write an 
word the copy properly, but will know the right keywords to target and how to target them. For instance, if you're a shampoo provider, want to target a, a user searching for an anti-dandruff shampoo, you can target the keywords anti-dandruff shampoo, dandruff shampoo. You can target the keyword, okay. Or you can target the keywords, how to remove dandruff. So see, when we're talking about the long tail and the short tail keywords, the short tail keywords are anti-dandruff shampoo. And the long tail is how to remove dandruff. Both sets of search terms may yield different results, so your copywriter should aim to perform well for both, which means that he needs to know what people put into the search engine for those particular industries that you're in. That's why even though you can become a really great copywriter yourself, you want other people on your team that are copywriters as well. That way, it's all about increasing the opportunity to get organic traffic to your website. Developers. Developers help make your search engine optimization dreams and goals become a reality. Developers are, are the professionals that work with the back end, technical matters of search engine optimization. They implement your title tag formula, edit your XML sitemap, and perform a bevy of other search, each, search SEO technical work and design. Developers are crucial for SEO because they set and maintain the fundamental foundation from which you will launch your website. They will also handle all the back-end aspects and duties to ensure that your website does not break any search engine rules, regulations, or abuse. Certain forms of abuse may be keyword stuffing or using spam links or for your website, both of which are a big no-no in search engines like Google. A developer will constantly monitor your website for such errors and fix them where need be. Without a developer, you will find it hard to improve your website performance online. That is why having a developer and a skilled one at that will ensure that your website ranks among the best on search engines. Now, here's the thing, that those developers are the ones that know how to code and put information into the back end of the platform that helps your website perform web better, your content that you put into your website performs better, and also, when you write articles in your, on your website, that those perform better. The idea here is that, remember this, that technology is a constantly changing, and with those constantly changing things, you need to know that the meta tags, also part of the developer's Um, okay, what I was talking about is this, that the coding in the back end 
that makes everything work. That, with technology increasing, is always changing. And when that changes, then everything else changes as well. So it's always important to be aware of all of these things and how you can make those changes happen for you. Now, content creators. Content creators are important for search engine performance and aspiration. They, the best SEO analyst, analyst will tell you that content creators play a huge role in the overall performance of your website. Why? Because content creators know which type of content to use and where to use it. For instance, social media plays a huge role in business today. You need social media to market your products, engage with your customers, and grow your business. A content creator will know which content to use on which social media platform to draw in most clicks and engagements, applying their know-how and experience. They will be able to draw more traffic to your website, this boosting your search engine performance. They will also know which content is popular on search engines and which isn't. Video content is the most popular form of content for search engines today because most internet users will opt to click on video results over the other results. Highly skilled content creators will know this and work on creating video content for your website. Video is in increasingly more important as search engine optimization. And for instance, when I create my e-learning courses, my videos sit on my YouTube website in conjunction with the email that goes to my platform for my website. And the purpose of that is twofold, that videos take up a lot of space. And on the platform where I use and post my e-learning courses, I want to keep enough space available to constantly be adding content to it. So therefore, since the videos take up a bigger chunk, you need to look for a way to move those videos around and find places where you can store them. For instance, when I create my videos, I'm creating them through Screencast-O-Matic. And then I can always upload my videos there so they're always available to me. And then I can look at them and see how and what changes need to be made, when they need to be made, and how to make them. Now, sales. Having a good sales team can help your search engine optimization. One reason why is that we create content for users. And in order to do that, we need to determine what those users want or need. The best way to do this is to through your sales team, which serves at a, as a moderator for this communication. Not only that, but they can help grow your network through a common SEO practice called link building before, okay. Let's back up because I need to collect my thoughts here and back up. Not only that, but 
they can help grow your network through a common SEO practice called link building, where two or more websites exchange links for the purposes of boosting inbound traffic. These sets of techniques fall right in line with the sales expert repertoire. That's why having a good sales team can come in handy for you when you're looking to either get insight into what customers want or looking to meet like-minded businesses and collaborate with them. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about sales because if you understand exactly what I've been talking about with search engine optimization and the content creators and the sales force and the team members and the designers and your your developers. What is happening here is the same skills that you used back in the 20th century are still attributable here, but what's happening is that with technology, the knowledge and how you utilize those skills has changed to incorporate online marketing. And that's all part of the digital internet marketing and understanding how to utilize this. Now, when I'm talking about this, what I'm telling you is this, that skills change, knowledge change, that just the fact that what you learned in school when you were in high school or elementary school may not seem relevant at the time or even in college, but as technology has taken over, new skills are involved. Even your, your person who turns around and fixes your car, Back in the day, it was just looking under the, under the engine and seeing what parts needed to be changed. Now, because things are so computer, computerized, understanding the technology, understanding the, the, the ins and outs of how a computer works can also help you as a, a mechanic. So... If someone in the, in the past didn't want to advance and, and add the knowledge of computers and how to fix them and how they work in a car, then they, they literally no longer can perform the job that they were doing before. This is, is – and, and I know a lot of people feel threatened by – what's happening with technology, but it's so important to, to acknowledge that because the, the millennials and Generation Z, they grew up with the computers. They know how to take things apart. They know how to put things back together. And if you're a low-tech person, when you're talking to them, what happens? You get lost simply because you have no idea what they're talking about. And it just shows you that we live in an age where the, it's known as the information age, but you have to be able to incorporate these things into your lifestyle, into the way that you, your knowledge base even if it's not something that you specifically want to work in, it's important that you have the knowledge so that when someone brings their work to you, you know whether or not it's, it's good or not. And what happens is if you don't have the basic knowledge and someone's a perfectionist, and they're going to keep redoing and redoing something till get, they get it perfected, whether you want them to or not, then understanding that can help you tell them, I want it this way and this way alone. And once I say I approve it, don't 
go back and change it. Designer, finally, on your search engine optimization team, you need to have a designer, not just any designer, but a qualified designer that is capable of creating captivating content. Ultimately, you want designs to be so appealing that users can't help but click on them and engage with them. That's why having a designer is going to be helpful in your pursuit to perform better online. Designers are the painters painting your search engine optimization vision to life. Invest in a good designer if you want to make sure that your vision comes to life in the proper way. There's also something else to think about when you're looking at designers. Those designers in the past were the graphic designers. So technically what is happening is it's just adding and changing and adapting to the new way of how business is done. This is important when you are incorporating this into your business. And think about all of the things that you've learned in life and understand that how can you look at life. And what I'm going to do is talk about graphic designers and how they can also become your web designers. So let's look at that. So how, let's see. A, what a graphic designer is, is a web graphic designer decides how websites look, making choices about layout, fonts, and images to create usable and aesthetically pleasing websites. And they also work closely with clients to, de to determine the design of your websites. So, Let's look, let's, let's, let's look at which ones you need and how they all work together. So a graphic designer versus a web designer, well, if you need some work done on your website or need to update your marketing materials, it can be confusing knowing who to contact. Should you contact a graphic designer for the job? or a web designer. Despite similarities in job title, the graphic designers and web designers actually have drastically different roles. Both types of designers are very important to your online presence, but you'll need to know which one to contact to perform the specific work and tasks that you need. So, Let's quickly talk about what does a graphic designer do? Well, a graphic designer do not code websites. Standards on the web are constantly changing as new technologies and online features are introduced. Creating a website today is dramatically more complex than creating a website 15 or 20 years ago, instead of being a jack of all trades, most graphic designers choose to specialize in the creation of graphic and images. Now, here's what a web designer does. A graphic designers are experts at all things visual. They use tools like Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator to craft images for the web or for print. They can also create the design for a website and app, but may require the skills of a web designer or another kind of designer to make it come to life. Web designers are the architects who
who work behind the scenes to make websites function. They're the coders. They code websites, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. They also are masters of usability, able to make a website just as legible and load just as quickly for a smartphone visitor as someone on their desktop computer. What, the, what don't web designers do? While in sub-web designers can also design graphics and more can, can create a layout or a wireframe for a website. Generally, they re rely on graphic designers to create visuals. So that's just a, a way of helping you understand the differences between each. Therefore, it will help you when you are putting your team together. So these are all the individuals that you want to have on your SEO team. Keep in mind, you may start with only the essentials, then scale up from there. Your essentials or whatever your goals are at a particular moment. If you want to create mesmerizing content and maybe you opt for a designer and content creator, if you want catchy sales slogans, then, then a copywriter. But whoever you choose to go with, keep in mind that you can't do it all yourself when it comes to SEO it's a team sport. Now, we have been talking about the different roles of search engine optimization simply because everyone has a way of having something that they specialize in that makes them unique. And if you understand how to take all of these components and work as a team and understand the importance of communication. What I'm quickly going to go through is the DISC, the D I S and C, because whether or not you use the Myers Briggs or the colors, it's all general personalities and how we communicate. And when you understand that when you're communicating with people, you want to commute. At, com communicate at their level so that there's no conflicts. So the D personality is someone who believes they control their environment. They have the bigger picture. They can communicate that well, that way. They often just want to know what's the bottom line. Your, your inner, your per, the I is the interpersonal skills. And those persons, those people with a high eye find it easy to talk to strangers and get along with them. And it's a great way for, to, when you're putting a team together, to understand how they, they work so efficiently. Then you've got the steadiness personality. And they literally do everything by the book. And they want to know all the details, and they will question you till they get to all the details. The conscientiousness personality is the person who is the preppy person, but they are very detail-oriented also. And when you communicate with someone who likes detail, you need to be able to do that. And remember, you can go to my website, and that website is the number one personalcareercoach.com. And you can take part in group coaching where you can learn to perfect your skills.